Even the government needs to have a decent budget. When the truth is found to be As you probably noticed, I've kind of filled my channel with videos because things keep happening around here. My parents have now moved the Alabans box and I can't go play with it anymore. But one of the things I mentioned on Monday I wanted to talk about was the budget. Because it's a big thing going on in the news right now. A lot of people may be confused by it. So I decided to look a few things up. And trust me, this video is going to be way shorter than the last one I did. Because I will make sure I edit it down from all my rambling. First, main thing to know is right now, according to uh, the debt calculator, yes, we have one. It, it sits right at Wall Street. It's done by a nonprofit group that's focused on reminding Americans we are in debt. Mm, not the best idea of a nonprofit group, but <laughs> it's important nevertheless. They say right now we are just over 13 point eight trillion dollars in debt. What, what does that mean? The, the government is in debt, as the commercial so poignantly states, up to its eyeballs. There are two ways to... well, before we talk about fixing it, we should talk about why it's important. Just like any other debt in the world, it's important for the government to pay off its debt because then, well, you don't have to pay it later when it's bigger. Everything we do um, will either bring us profit or a deficit. So, um, so if there's too much deficit, we end up having some debt lying around. Part of this a 13.8 trillion dollar deficits, past wars, tax cuts, a lot of different things. And of course, with anything, there's two uh, schools of thought on how to fix it, how to make it go bye-bye. First one, tax. <laughs> if we increase taxes or make new taxes, it'll it'll bring us more profit, which will mean that we ha have less debt lying around. Or we could well, we could uh, cut spending, which means we have less deficit to begin with. I find, though, the real good idea, while well, taxes and spending cuts are good starts, you need a little of both. You cannot just tax everyone to death, then they get angry. And you can't just cut everything, because then you have no government left. <laughs> so you have to have a decent balance. And there's also been a lot of talk about these Bush tax cuts. Basically, back in the early 2000s, around 9-11, all that stuff, a, a George Bush Jr. Had also put in, in these major tax cuts for everybody, because he, he, like his daddy, loves uh, getting rid of taxes, because taxes make people unhappy. And he wants the people to be happy, so he figures if he just sla slashed off all the tax cuts, and there's my furnace, it'll make everybody feel awesome. Well, it just added a lot of debt. So some Democrats are thinking, hey, let's uh, let the ta tax cuts end so we can get some more revenue back again, back to when, uh, back to like the 90s Clinton style of taxes. But some Republicans are like, no, that will piss off people, and they will not like us anymore. Which, if they look at their poll ratings, not many people like them to begin with. So, that's a little story on that, which I personally think if you got, 
there's um, there's this little dividing line of, that people are thinking of. Oh, we should keep the oh, was it the Bush tax cuts for anybody who isn't making two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. Basically, that could be like a line of rich and poor, which is a good line to have. I, I like that line personally. It, 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 here's something interesting I found out through all my research. Apparently, if you really, really want to, and don't think you're taxed enough, you can send checks to the government to help pay off its debt. I am not kidding. <laughs> there, you can either st do it with your credit card, or which will give you debt instead, which <laughs> makes no sense to me, um, or whatever online. Or you can send them a check in the mail. Which brings me in a, in, to an interesting point. <laughs> if all those people who really want to decrease the government debt want to have, want to help, why don't they just start sending the government checks? Seriously. <laughs> if you really cared that much about the deficit, uh, uh, deficit and debt and everything, send them a check. Send them a nice, like, if all the billionaires who are angry like Warren Buffett, send them like a $10,000 check, we up to the mail. It would help a little. But as, I, as I said, almost $14 trillion of debt. We're going to need a lot of help, and no, I don't think even if everybody sent in like a hundred dollar check, we would get this debt cleared out. So yeah, if you really, um, that's basically why I, what my explanation is on this whole crazy, what, what is this deficit and debt and why are we talking about it? We're talking about it so my kids and my grandkids don't have to pay it. Especially after all these wars and everything, we kind of need to pay everything back. <laughs> all that money we spent, now it's catching up on us. By the way, if you're wondering if there was any point where we weren't in debt, that was back in the 1800s, according to IOUSA. Pretty okay explanation on what um, the whole debt deficit thing is.